DIY has arrived. One of the most beloved teams in WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Johnny Gargano, representing DIY from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Weighing in at 201 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa! I've been fortunate enough to call many of the wars these two men have fought side by side and against the They are a fun team to watch. Two men who have been the heart and soul of NXT. They brought that same passion to the main roster and have quickly become a top team in the WWE. And we're about to see that passion on display. Here comes Finn Balor. One of the most talented competitors around with a darker edge than ever. And his opponent representing the Judgment Day from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland. Weighing in at 190 pounds, he is one half of the undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor. A man with amazing high-flying skills, unmatched stamina, and a physique carved out of marble. It's good to be the prince. I find it amusing, Corey, that despite all those gifts you mentioned, he still requires constant backup in the form of the Judgment Day. Is it Balor's fault that so many competitors want to sit under the learning tree of one of the greatest competitors of this generation? If you ask me, he's not teaching them the right lessons. He's got all the skill in the world, but the Judgment Day never plays by the rules. All you need to see are the titles, the main events, the accolades earned by the Judgment Day. Balor's teaching all the right lessons, and the Judgment Day has executed them to perfection. Finn Balor has always been an exceptionally gifted and athletic competitor, but he's really upped his ruthlessness as of late. And I applaud Balor's evolution. Only so many times you can watch others pass you by and laugh in your face before you have to do something about it. Balor believes he's balancing the scales, and I couldn't agree more. Balor has become all about inflicting pain and settling scores, and I'm sure that's part of his game plan here tonight. But he's standing between Tommaso Ciampa and a victory. Quite a dangerous place to be since Ciampa has been dead set on reminding everyone that he is the best. Champa is as self-possessed, single-minded, and driven as any superstar we've ever seen. Anyone standing across from Champa is viewed as a threat to his ultimate goals. Look out! Fails to hit the bullseye. Oh. Champa gets countered there. How do you counter the incredible aggression that Tommaso Champa fights with? You have to find a way to turn it back against him because you're never going to match it. Taunt Champa, dodges attacks, do anything you can to control the tempo and frustrate him. The less control Champa has, the less effective his range. Now look at his aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. That was just wrong. You should be a better person than that. Take down, looking for the cross face, it cinched it. We're gonna free the arm and does just that. Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. Catches a kick into a dragon screw leg whip. Uh, pressing their foot right into the gut. That's got to hurt. Finn lining him up. Oh, almost through. He can pin his 
his opponent right here. And that'll about do it, folks. Here is your winner, Finn Balor! What a terrible loss for Tommaso Ciampa tonight. He was focused and precise, but that still wasn't enough for Ciampa to get the win. I don't know if he'll be able to shake this one off.